Hello and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. My name is Terry and today we're going to be talking about creating a cool portal effect, a scene loading effect, zone loading effect, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be creating this effect so it either looks like this or like this. So you can tell the user of your game where you want to go to load into another zone. So as always, I'm going to go through this step by step. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always more than happy to help. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll hop right into this. So as you can see here, this is a relatively simple particle system, and it has a collider to go with it. If I click on the collider, we can see, if I hop into scene mode here, we can see that the collider is just a box where we can run into this particle effect and then we can trigger to load a new level or a new scene or anything like that. So it's two elements working together. I'm not gonna go over the code on how to load into a new scene. This is solely about the particle system and how to set that up. So I'm going to set that up from scratch with you now so we can take a look at it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable this particle system. That was the one that was working. So I'm gonna right click this game object. I'm gonna go down to effects and then I'm gonna create a particle system. So after we've made this particle system, the default setup for it is to come out with a cone effect and we're gonna swap that pretty soon. But we're gonna do a couple things here in this first tab first, just to make sure that we are all on the same page. We're gonna take this start object size. So this is the default particle by standard and we're going to increase it. Now you'll notice in the scene, <laughs> This makes this quite comical. That's totally fine. We're gonna we're gonna work our way through it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a default color. So I prefer these to be like slightly blue, off blue in the white spectrum. So you can see here, this is a sort of grayish blue, something like that. But more importantly, we're gonna pull down the alpha to be like, you know, in the 125-ish range. So about 50% of light coming through, maybe a smidgen less. And what that's going to do is it's going to give it sort of like a foggy look as opposed to just a solid particle effect. Next, we're going to drop down this thing for emission and we're going to change the amount that is emitted. So instead of 10 particles per second, we're going to change this to 150 particles per minute. And what that's going to do is make it a lot denser. But that's going to really make sense when we open up this shape. And instead of emitting from a cone, what we're going to do is we're going to emit from a circle. And what that does is it creates this circular object here. Now, obviously this one's huge, and instead of emitting at random, we're gonna emit out of a loop, and it's gonna create sort of like a spiral galaxy. And then all we have to do from here is just tone down the scaling of this until it matches the area where we'd like for it to go. So now as I zoom in here, we can see that we have this rough pattern, much like the other one we were looking at, falling into place. We're going to make a couple more changes to this. Primarily, we're going to change the size over the lifetime. So if you scroll down a little bit right here, you'll see size over lifetime. We can check this. And instead of using the default small to get big, what we're actually going to do is pull it up here, so maybe to like 0.9 and then drop this one down to somewhere in the 0.6 to 0.7 range. And what that does is that goes ahead and it says, you know, you're gonna start almost at max size, give that really, that core area, like you can't see through the core area, but on the outside, you're really gonna see this ringed effect. Now, if you'd like for the slightly darker effect, all you need to do is come right here to the particle system, you're gonna go ahead and go down here and select a default particle. That's gonna give you that sort of like grayish dark one. You'll notice an error that says to ensure the read write is enabled on the particle systems texture. That doesn't actually matter, but if you'd like to turn it off, all you have to do is go to the inspector of the particle and make sure that it is read write enabled. From here, you have just from the basic included Unity assets, a really cool window sort of spiral particle effect. All you need to do is assign a collider right behind it. Make sure that the two are lined up. This is really easy to do if you use them as relative to the portal. So rather than move any of these, if you would like to adjust where things are in the map, grab the 
parent game object and move them in conjunction as opposed to moving them together. So now when we hit play, we will see that we have this cool little game object and particle effect start to appear. If you'd like for it to start full, all you need to do is come here to your particle system and hit preform. And what that does is when you hit play, it's going to have already done the math, so it starts as if it's already been admitting. Now all you have to do is have the rest of your RPG game or anything like that or just enable the character to walk up to this portal, walk in, and then you're going to go ahead and load a different scene, a la a dungeon or anything like that. If you have any questions on this, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm always more than happy to help. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out. And hopefully I'll see you next week.